That federal judge in San Francisco temporarily halted the Trump administration's attempts to phase out the program known as DACA. The judge essentially saying while a legal fight makes its way through the court system, anyone who had DACA status will be able to renew it. All while the president is sending some mixed signals over the broader issue of immigration. This morning, a new roadblock to the Trump administration's move to end DACA, the program that protects the nearly 700,000 undocumented young people, or DREAMers, who came to the U.S. as children. Overnight, a federal judge temporarily blocking the administration's action to end the program. It comes as the president and lawmakers are trying to find a legislative fix to the country's immigration issues. The president tweeting overnight, as I made very clear today, our country needs the security of a wall on the southern border, which must be a part of any DACA approval. That tweet, an apparent attempt to clarify the president's immigration stance after an extraordinary, nearly hour-long televised negotiating session with a bipartisan group of lawmakers on Tuesday. The president appearing to take a range of contradictory positions on immigration, including a bill to protect dreamers with no strings attached. This should be a bipartisan bill. This should be a bill of love. Truly, it should be a bill of love. Mr. Trump later outlining a political approach that seemed to include a path to citizenship, something fiercely opposed by conservatives who see that as amnesty. You're not so far away from comprehensive immigration reform. And if you want to take it that further step, I'll take the heat. I don't care. And when pressed to get specific about his positions. I think my positions are going to be what the people in this room come up with. If they come to me with things that I'm not in love with, I'm going to do it because I respect them. And while the two sides are far from a deal, there is agreement over areas of negotiation, funding border security, including at least some form of the wall, ending family-based chain migration, the visa program that allows immigrants living in the U.S. to bring over family members, canceling the visa lottery, and Democrats' big priority, resolving DACA. But immigration wasn't the only issue in the spotlight. The president weighing in for the first time on the news that's got the political world buzzing. Will Oprah challenge him in 2020? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Beto. Oprah would be a lot of fun. I don't think she's going to run. Also this morning, another bombshell related to the president's former top advisor, Steve Bannon. Bannon stepping down from Breitbart News after sparking a fierce backlash from conservatives for questioning the president's fitness for office in that new book, Fire and Fury. For his part, the president will have a chance to weigh in on all of this when he holds a joint news conference with the prime minister of Norway this afternoon. Hoda, Savannah. All right, Kristen, thank you so much.